Are you ready to feed the chickens? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's snowing. Come on, sweet pea. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, should we feed those chickens? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> There's snow on my hair, you should see your hair. <laughs> right, let's do this, go. It's so magical. <laughs> do the chickens think it's magical? That's the question. What do you think, ladies? Oh, really, Charlotte? Coming down, Iris. Makes a change, doesn't it, from the rain and the mud? Not sure if they're impressed. So whether or not the chickens actually enjoy the snow, it's kind of a moot point today because we're still in chicken lockdown because of the avian influenza passing through the UK at the moment. Uh, so they have to stay in their run regardless today. But earlier this morning, I kept checking out the window to see how they were and they were all just huddled up in their, um, in their coop itself. They weren't actually out on the run at all. So and they're normally quite hardy, so I was quite shocked at them of being a bit, um, a bit wet. <laughs> Let's take a look and see how the quail are all doing. How are you all doing? You hungry? Yeah? You're not coming out in the snow? Ah! Oh my gosh, that's a blizzard. <laughs> Kira's playing football. What are you doing, Kira? You're playing football in the snow. That's how excited you are. I don't really want this near the greenhouse, pup. Can you play it in the front? She's relentless. So, <laughs> so I came out because the chickens and the quail need food and water. Um, but I also chose now because I thought, oh, it's a flurry of snow. This is lovely. It looks so beautiful on camera. Um, and now I feel like I'm in a blizzard. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's just getting thicker and thicker all the time, but it's really beautiful. Right, okay, enough of me enjoying the snow. Time to get on with the jobs. <laughs> Serafina, can you come and help me out? I need your help. Can you hold this bucket? Are you eating snow? Here you go, hold this bucket for me. There you go. Right then. So we're gonna go sort the chickens first. It's right, pup. And I've got this bit of corn just to keep them in their run. Kira, shush, she's getting so excited. Um, hey, chicks. Hey, chickens. Oh. oh, that just went on everybody. <laughs> so we put a bit of corn in now for the winter, uh, partly because it's winter time, so we can have a bit of extra corn, um, and partly because it keeps them in their run and we don't want them running out when I come in. There we go, ladies. Sorry, do you want to shut that gate behind you? That's it. Is it hard in mittens? Sorry, I forgot you've got big mitts on, haven't you? So yeah, they're not rushing out anyway, but that's our little trick so that we can stick to the rules and not have them out in the garden at the moment. Okay, food. Don't worry, sweet pea. Whoa, I did not just do that. Oh, I did just do that. Oh. To be fair, they do eat quite a lot at this time of day, so it'll be gone quickly. I'm not gonna worry. There's not a chance of a rat or a mouse getting that. 
Are you helping in your mittens? This is all muddy because we've had so much mud and rain um, the last few weeks. Everything is a good deep clean. Okay, sweet Kate, let's do it this way. They do like a bit of spill because then they just get to scratch around in it for a while. That is too much spill. I've made a right mess. Never mind. <laughs> this is silly. Oh well. So you can see there's been a bit of snow blown in. Mostly it stays quite nice in here. It's been quite wet recently though. Um, and obviously I have to tend to their water um, because they can't drink anything out of that. One of the things that I want to do um, today, if I get the time, is to make a new drinker for them. So it's something that's been kind of bothering me for quite a while, is that this drinker that they have, I suppose my feet behind me. Uh, so this one isn't super. It's sort of, we bought it very early on, it was cheap, it works, um, but I personally think that there are better systems out there. So I'm going to um, hopefully when I get time, build a new one this afternoon, which will be um, much easier to keep clean, much easier to keep topped up. Let's find out if the water has frozen. Yay! It's all good. All right, give it a good rinse. So it does need a good clean as well. To be honest, I just need to do a really big deep clean. We're kind of at that time of year anyway, where I do like to kind of change over the wood chip in the run, um, give everything like the deepest clean of the year. And like I say, there's improvements for, um, for their well-being. Oh, the snow has stopped. Hi. Hey, sweetie Pooh. Hey. Booty's out. Just telling you that I got the dog from the just No worries. When I finish sorting out all the animals, we'll go and take a look at it together, okay? So we are in chicken lockdown. We are in human lockdown. So I am, are you right? She's got snow in her mouth. So I'm homeschooling home parenting <laughs> and uh, working from home full time as well. Kira's just having the best time. <laughs> so it's full on, it really is. Um, but things like looking after the animals is a priority that takes place every day no matter what else we have. Um, let me just turn this over, this is actually quite tricky to do one handed. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the chicken sorted. Just going to have a quick look around here. It's a bit messy around here, apologies. And have a quick look around here to see if we have anything. Whoop, any eggs? <laughs> anything? Nope. Nope. Lazy chickens. There we go. So we've not had any eggs for about a month, two months maybe, um, which is longer than last year. They went off lay last year as well, but they seem to come back in a little bit faster than this time. It could be because these are slightly older chickens now, and so year by year, their production will lower, um, especially kind of in the winter, it will drop off. Um, that won't happen with so much of hybrids um, because they're being bred for really high production year round. Whereas ours are all rare breeds and um, heritage breeds. So their natural body rhythm is much more in tune with the daylight. Um, so we just have to wait until they're ready to give us some eggs again. Some people do put lights into their sheds um, in the winter, but it just doesn't seem to be something that we would like to do. I think it's, it just puts more stress and pressure onto their bodies. And when they've been laying all through the year, I think giving them a bit of time to relax over the winter is only fair, to be honest. Time to do the quail. Hopefully, that we're all foolishly running out into the snow. Come on, ladies, and you gentlemen. <laughs> There's nothing in it, you have to wait. I've only ever had one escape so far um, and it didn't fly far, it went over the fence to my next neighbour's garden and we together worked to bring it back, it's coming in here to fill up, um, because it is illegal to let them 
fly to release them either deliberately or by accident. So I try very hard not to let that happen. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on. <laughs> In you go. Right, go back the other side. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Kira is so excited by the snow. Okay, and now for the top one. This group are much more shy. They just like to kind of sit in that little hidey hole down there. And are less fussed. Oh, no, they've got some food. Uh, less fussed about me popping my head in. Hey guys, how you doing? It is so cosy in here, I swear. You want fed as well? Of course. How are you? You all okay? Keeping in here are the surplus boys. The rest in the hutches are at the start of our breeding group going into the spring. So these ones are going to be for the table, um, but until that point, they're having a really nice life in here. They are quite cosy. It's not cold in here at all. It's lovely. Um, I think their body heat is probably helping uh, to keep the greenhouse a little bit warmer than it would be at this time of year. Um, and they've got plenty to enrich their lives and being well fed and well watered. And they're just going to have a good quality of life before they become the sustenance for my family. So that's all the birds fed and watered and checked over in the garden. Everyone's happy. The snow is beautiful. We're going to get some more over the next day or two. Um, and I just oh, I can't wait to go out and play. Music